Hello and welcome to the second episode about lesson planning. So in this lesson we're going to think about what's the best way that we can start a lesson. And because this is the internet, the disclaimer is this is not the only way. If you have a different method, please feel free to put it into the comments respectfully. So beginning a class, we need to do two things. Switch on the English part of the students' brains and build some rapport, create the atmosphere, all that feel good stuff. So if we're gonna start well, we can chat as we're setting up, you know, writing things on the board. Uh, we can deal with student problems, like on a one-to-one -one basis, and we can basically establish that kind of nice, pleasant atmosphere. There are many cultures in the world where the students tend to match the teacher's energy and mood, so the way you enter the classroom is actually very important. So we have switched on the English part of their brain, we've built some rapport. Now we need to activate the schema for the theme of the class. So what is schema? Well, schema is the student's background knowledge, their existing knowledge of the world. So remember, we are not starting with blank slates, right? Students have lived lives, they understand concepts, they just don't know the English for those concepts. So, in the beginning, we need to activate that background knowledge. Now, how can we do this? Well, think of what the theme of the class is. So for example, if it is travel, we could just start off with some general travel chats, or if it's complaining, we could talk about bad experiences or things to complain about. And we can generate ideas that we can even use later in the class with our target language. So the most important thing is that we're activating those concepts in their brain and so they're starting to make connections between the language they already know and the concepts that they already understand plus we're going to add to that with our target language so activating schema very important at the beginning of the class thank you very much for listening please like subscribe do all the usual youtube things in the next lesson we are going to think about input so our reading or our listening or whatever your input is, what is the best way to set that up for success? All right, thanks again. I will see you in lesson three.